Hi, my name is Jacob with SalesPad and this is a short video on SalesPad navigation. Navigating in SalesPad is mainly done through our toolbar and through these two drop down menus across the top. The toolbar you see here across the top is our default toolbar. These modules are the most commonly used modules and it's designed to be used by most day to day users of SalesPad. Over here we have a drop down that has uh, admin modules such as security and settings. Uh, most day-to-day -day users will probably use this to be logging off or to exiting SalesPad. Up here we have what uh, we like to call the modules menu. And from here you have access to all modules available to your security group. As you can see there are category subsections that each module resides in. This helps you quickly find your module that you're looking for. As you can see across the top of the toolbar, each of these sections correspond with the section in the modules drop down. These are both the same, so if you click on this sales here, and then you click on this sales in here, you'll have the exact same modules. Uh, so it's pretty much a preference of which one you'd want to use. As we move along the right side of the toolbar, you'll see over here we have the uh, date, and then we have the sales pad uh, version number. Then we have the user that's currently logged in, and then we have the number of licenses in use. And over here we have a blue question mark that has a drop down. And the two pieces I'd like to mention here are the system information and the about. And the system information is filled with information about your server and company and various settings you are currently using in Dynamics GP. This information is great for our support staff to eliminate a lot of variables when resolving issues you may have. It's something that we'll commonly ask you to send us. And in the about section, you can update your license file to reflect any changes to your sales pad license. If you'd like to hide the toolbar, you can click this arrow up here. This will hide your toolbar for you so you have more room down here to work with. If you find that you're using only some modules and the rest of these are being ignored, we have a couple options for you. You can right click on the module you'd like. So let's click on this sales batch processing and I can add it to our quick access toolbar. As you'll see up here across the top, it is now a button that we can click and open up sales batch processing if we want to. So we can do this for, for all sorts of things. So if you're doing receiving, you can click here and it'll pop up there for you. And then we can go in there. If you don't really like that, we have another option for you too, and that's if you right click on the tab, we have a favorites menu. So let's go ahead and add receivings to our favorites, and let's add the sales processing to our favorites, and let's add the customer search to our favorites. And now to see your favorites bar, you just have to go up here, click this little arrow, and then you'll see that they're all right here for you. Thank you for watching this video. We have many more available on our website at www.salespad.net.